G'day YouTube, down to Bricks here. Today I'm going to be putting this arch bridge together. So it's going to be a tutorial of sorts, so let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing is you need a plate. The area I'm going over in my lagoon is 16 wide. So I've got a 16 plate here. I've got a blue one just to show that it is water. Of course, it will come off this when it goes into the city. Now, I did want to just show you I didn't just come up with exactly what parts I needed to do it. I just did a little test run first just to work out exactly what I did need. So it's a little bit messy. It's only held by one rail here. It's all multicolored, and that was just my template of the build that we're going to do today. So the first thing that I really needed to do with this is just to work out the actual arch that I needed for it. So what I did actually have to do was trim a rigid hose down to the right length. The piece I had actually just made it arch a little bit too much like that and it was just a little bit too high. I did have to cut one stud off. So first of all I'm just going to pull this apart. If I can get it out of there. And pull all this off just so I can cut another piece of rigid hose. So that's basically what we're going to end up with is something like that. And if we get a piece of rigid hose, so you're going to need two lengths of rigid hose if you want to do this yourself. And I'm just going to marry these two up. And you can see here how it was really just one, virtually one stud length, roughly, that I chopped off it. So we're going to do that now. And I always keep these little offcuts because they're very handy, little bits and bobs. Okay. So the first thing to do is to help get the arch is I'm using these little hinge bricks here and I'm just going to put those on the end like that and the other one is here put those on like so and then to hold the hose pieces I'm using these bricks here with the studs on the side and of course they are hollow so you can slide your tubing your rigid hose in there so I'm going to put that like that then I'm going to put all of the clips so you're going to need let's just tip all these out here you're going to need black 1x2 plates. wasn't sure if I was going to do it black or brown but I've decided to go with the black and you're going to need some clips as well which are all here in black. So let me tip all those out. So it clips like that. And I'll take all the plates out while I'm here. Alrighty, so First of all, I'm going to get my two pieces of hose. Just going to try and straighten this one out a little bit. And you need to put your plates on top of the clips here, just like that. Now, for this distance that I'm doing here, um, it's 16 per side. I think it was 16 per side so I need 32 all up so I'm just going to clip all these together 31 32 okay so I've got all the clips made up now now it's just a matter of putting them all on the rigid hose. 
So just going to clip them on the outside like so. And then we can go ahead and put them in the brick. So we can just push that in and then arch it up and put it in this side. So there we have one side of the arch and we put this one in. Oh, all the pieces moved. So put the hose in there and then arch it up and put it in this side. Okay. Now she's all a little bit wonky, but the plates will lock all that together. So there's the base of the bridge. Now we use our plates and we just start clipping it all together. And this is where we're going to have to just fiddle around with it a little bit to get it all lined up. Okay, all the 1x6 plates are on and it's, a, it's still a little bit wonky so you just have to spend a little bit of time just shaping it a little bit, making sure the spacing's correct. It's just a little bit of messing around just to get it right. Okay, now the other thing we can do is just cover up that that hinge, that hinge in the brick. We just put another plate there, like so. And that gives us a good one to start off to try and space these a little bit better. Okay. Still a little bit wonky, but it will pull in in a second once we get our handrails on. So now we're going to put these little clips, uh, sorry, little plates. Put little plates like so. So I'm going to start on the second one on each side like that. And we're also going to put a one by one round black stud on there as well. So put that on there like that. And we want to do that for all of these here. It's probably a little bit hard to see because it's black on black, but it's just what I'm doing there. Okay, so I've got all those on now, and that's what's going to hold all the handrail supports. Now you could do this all in reddish brown and just make it like a complete timber bridge. Because I've got a boardwalk in the city which is a lot of brown anyway I wanted to do something a little bit different with this one just make it stand out and that's why I've chosen to do it in black. Now it's time to add a little bit of timber and I'm going to use, if I can get that to focus, I'm going to use these timber printed tiles. Now, it's only lightly printed, so it's not going to stand out a whole lot, but I've got quite a few of those here. You could, um, could use these ones too in the dark medium, in dark medium flesh or nougat, medium nougat. I think Lego actually call that color. So I'm going to just put these over now. These were a custom tile, these ones that I got off Bricklink. I just think that's going to add a nice effect. Don't have to use printed tiles, of course, you can just use regular brown tiles. Whichever colour you want to choose, really. 
on the very end, I'm just going to use a 1 by 6 tile, put one on this side and one on that side. Okay. Oh. Let's just put that back on. There we go. And that's actually starting to look very nice. It's still a little bit wonky, but we've still got to clip it all together with the handrail and that will help support that. So, for the handrail, I'm just going to use rigid hose on the handrail and I'm going to use these skeleton legs here for the to hold the handrail. So, we're just going to clip all those on. It probably actually would have been easier just to make up each of these before I clipped them onto the bridge, but I wanted to do it like this so you actually see the the bridge taking shape. Okay, so there we go. We have all the supports for the handrail on. And for the handrail, I'm just going to use this rigid hose. So this piece of rigid hose I'm using here is 18 long. Same pieces underneath here. They just had to trim a little bit off. I'm going to have to trim a little bit off this one as well because what I want to do is I want to put these lightsaber hilts on the ends like this one here and then that will clip on the very end of these supports here so I'm just going to bring me little cutter over again and I'm just use this piece to measure and I'm just going to make it a little bit longer so I'm only cutting just a smidge off and hopefully I've measured that all correctly so I'll put these hilts on either end and that's going to the actual where you normally hold the hilt is going to clip on the first first leg there and then we can just push these all on and hopefully it lines up to the very last one and yes it has so there is one let's try the next one And that's making it nice and solid now. And this one, that's not quite. Just need to pull it along a little bit. And it's just not clipping in for me. And I'll just put it on like that. We'll just cheat a little bit. Stick it on from the end. There we go. Didn't think that was going to fit for a second. <laughs> Thought I might have cut it a fraction too short. So you just got to be real careful with your cuts. And everything's lined up pretty good. Just needs a little bit of straightening. And there we have our arched walkway, our arched bridge. Okay, so there is the Arch Pedestrian Bridge. Looking forward to actually getting this into the city. I have to say it does look like it's a bridge over troubled water here, doesn't it? But I'd love to hear what you guys think about it. Any questions you've got, please just belt it all down in the comments. Happy to get back to you. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Hit subscribe if you want to see more. If you want to see this in the city, make sure you're subscribed to my channel. But thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.